Hey guys, welcome back for more Timberborn. In this episode, we're going to be focusing on industry and we have the goal of producing explosives. Oh yeah, I want to be able to produce um, a reasonable amount of explosives by the end of this episode. Uh, in the last couple of episodes, we've done a couple of big projects. We built the, uh, the Drought Buster Mega Reservoir in the first episode and in the second episode we did uh, we did some damming to create these massive lakes which have essentially solved all of our water problems so what we're going to focus on now is um, increasing our population so that we've got people to work in industry uh, consolidating our uh, our food increasing our efficiency I'm going to throw in some uh, aesthetics as well and um, and yeah and getting a whole industrial platform built Okay, before we get to that, there's a couple of little things that I want to do. Down here, we didn't complete this dam, and I realised, uh, when I was editing the last episode, uh, I realised why we're not building this. They can only build up two layers. They can build down, like, I think an infinite amount. So that, that's why they were able to build, like, um, these, these staircases and, and whatever, because they can just build right, down, right the way down. But they can, they've got very long arms reaching down, but... I don't know, it's gravity. Like, they, they can't reach up very far. Did that sound like a reasonable explanation? Yeah, sure, go with that. Yeah, let's go with that. Okay, so so uh, over here, I'm going to throw in uh, some platforms across... Yeah, that'll work. If I throw in some platforms across there... I might have a path going all the way across there. Okay, fine. So that will get done now. So, good. Right, down here. Now, this is where we are producing our water. So... I think it kind of makes sense to have our housing over here. If we have our housing close by to our water supply, I think that's going to be the most efficient. Um, I'm also going to put in uh, some other amenities close by so that we're as efficient as possible with our, with our workforce. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to remove this um, staircase here. Why? Uh, okay, quick explanation. When you're building staircases, the most efficient way to do it is to build them um, going radially outwards from wherever the district centre is. Now, at the moment, I'm intending for the district centre to be here. So that one going straight out is good. That one going straight out is good. This one is going parallel to the district centre. That takes away tiles from our maximum range. So to extend the range of your district to the maximum, uh, you want your... Your staircase is going out rightly. That, yeah, that, that, that's it. That's it. Right. Um, I want to get on with building because I'm kind of excited about this because it, it's the first time that I've had uh, the kind of the aesthetic bug. And I'm like, yeah, I want to build something pretty and cool. So should we do this? Let's do this. Uh, oh, there's two things I've got to... No, three. Ah, three. Ah, three weapons. No, um, there's, there's three things I've got to do before I build the houses. Uh, I want to get some farmhouses, extra farmhouses, because I'm going to increase the population quite a bit. Our population at the moment is, um, we've got room for 30 beavers. We've currently got 27 in total. I want to take that up to like 54. So I'm going to throw in a couple, and I'm, and I'm actually going to go above that, but right now it's going to be 54. So I'm going to throw in an extra couple of farmhouses. We need a lot more science. We're just coming up on 1,000 science. Uh, but we need a lot more than that. So I'm going to throw in two more inventors. That's going to go in there. That's going to go in there. At the moment, we've actually only got three guys working. I've only got one person in each of the farm buildings uh, because we've actually got a lot of food right now. So I think we should be able to support a population of oh, like 70 and up. Yeah, I would think something like that. Uh, the uh, the last thing, so those, those are the first two things. The last thing that I need to do, we're going to need a ton of planks for what I'm planning to do. I'm going to throw in a lumber mill, and I'm going to throw in another power wheel. So you can see, already, I've just created, what? We need another three beavers in there, uh, another four in there, so that's seven, and another two. That's nine jobs straight away. And we're already down... Uh, we need an extra five beavers working right now. So that's like 14. So you can see we need a big bump in our population. Okay. Shut up, Sky. Build something. All right, all right, all right. I'm on it. I'm on it. Housing. I'm going to unlock the double the double lodge. Uh, it costs 150 science. It's one of the cheaper buildings. Um, but I'm going to 
ignore that for the bottom layer of this complex. These are beaver condos. I'm going to throw in six of these small ones. Now, these house three each. Now, you're probably going, well, that's exactly the same as what you've been doing here, Sky. That's not revolutionary. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, then I'm going to get the double lodge, and I'm going to throw double lodges in here. Oh, Sky, have you put those the right way round? Yes, I have. Ah, so you're going to put a row in front, flipped around this way. No, 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 no. That's not what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to come around here. I'm going to put paths in so that... Uh, oh, that's delete buildings, you idiot. Try again. Uh, I'm going to put paths in here so people can get to there. Uh, paths in there so people can get into there. That's good. That's a good start. Um, I'm going to put a staircase coming down here because... Uh, It'll be useful, and I think it'll look nice as well, having the staircase kind of running down the side of the building. I'm going to mirror it on this side, actually. That's um, that's how cool I think it looks. So, yeah, we're going to have just stairs running up like that. Cool. Okay. And then uh, I said we're going to have some other amenities around here, not just the water. We're going to start throwing in things like uh, the rooftop terrace that we do not have right now. Let's flip this around. There we go. So if we just take a quick look at our, our well-being. Um, campfire, we're not doing good on. And we have no rooftop terraces, uh, so no usage. Uh, if we can get those done, we could get our, our well-being up to a solid 10, which is where I would like to be. Okay, well, they can't get to these rooftop terraces, so um, we need to do something about that. We'll throw in some platforms across there and a couple of staircases. Now, I don't really need the ones in the middle. I could just do it with, but I, I think it's kind of cool. So I'm going to go with that. We want a path going across there. And then we want that going across there like that, I think. Yeah, looks good. Okay. And then up here, I want to put in. I want to start putting in some decorations because um, the decorations. This only costs twenty science, so we'll grab that. Uh, we'll put in some shrubs up here. Sky, are you not going to use this area up here to build something else? Yes, yes, but it's fine. Now these shrubs give off uh, an area of um, like one tile in each direction, which is um, aesthetics, and it's aesthetically pleasing. And this will uh, this will make the beavers happy. Which is, a, which is a very good thing. Um, okay, so to be able to get into these houses, we need a platform at two, uh, yeah, two tiles high, so a double platform coming across there like that. And then I'm going to put a couple more at the back. Yep, that works. And then uh, I need a path so that they can actually get in. You can see all the connections to their houses. So that's great. So we're going to be able to get into there. Uh, in order to get into there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this staircase slightly. So we'll have we'll have a double platform there. And let's grab a single platform and put it in there. What are you doing that for, Sky? Well, because this is perfect for putting in uh, housing, a double lodge, another double lodge facing this way, like that. And you can see that the entrance is just at ground level, which is perfect. So we want another couple of uh, like double platforms there. Good. Yeah, this is this is working out nicely. We want a path going across there like that. And then uh, we're going to do the same up here. We're going to have a couple of rooftop terraces. And then I'm going to get a nice path going around here like this. And then we'll connect that to there so they can get down the stairs. And I guess we'll just hook it up like that for now. Okay, good. Good. That's all looking nice. We need uh, we need a path at the top here so that that stairs connects to this. All right. That gets us quite a long way there. You know what? I'm going to crank this up at this point and let them start building this. How are we getting on over here? Plank production is really important. I'm actually going to set that to the top priority. Uh, and they can get on with that while I'm doing, like, finishing this off. Okay, the next part of this is um, some more decorations going in 
there to try and make this look a bit pretty. I'm going to get rid of these water barrels. I could empty them, but water really is not an issue. So I'm just going to delete them. So, boom. And there they were, gone. Okay. <laughs> One thing bugs me about this. When I was when I was kind of thinking about this design, the center line of this comes down here and it doesn't match with this. And the OCD kicks in and you're like, no, I can't. I can't have that. So, we're um we're going to change it around slightly to to balance it with this building because I think the the effect at the end should be quite nice. What do I want? I want some uh, some triple platforms, don't I? Yeah. I'm going to put in an extra pumping station. Well, what difference is that going to make? You'll see in a second. If I put in uh, a pumping station there, we'll need uh, a little path going on there. Now, the center line, if we bring it down, is actually right in the middle of these poor pumps. Ha-ha! Well, that's great. So the only thing that's screwed up now is this staircase. Yeah, now, I could just leave it like that, but I'm not going to. So what we're going to do is we're going to have stairs going up there and stairs going up here, but I'm going to move all these stairs back one so that we've actually got a two gap in the center, and then it's perfectly symmetrical with this building. Ha-ha! <laughs> there's, there's method in the madness okay once they've once they've got this built then i'll knock this down and rebuild it and that is gonna look not too bad okay that is quite a lot for them to build it's gonna take a little while so i tell you what let's let them get that done well our beavers have just finished the last bit which was uh, moving these stairs over do you want to have a look that is what it looks like but we're not quite finished what i'm going to do is put in one more amenity uh which is well being the campfire so we'll pop a couple of campfires in there uh, join them up with a couple of paths there and there and we'll just put the cherry on the top of the cake with a few more of these little baskets Okay, and look, they've already built one straight away. And the beavers, you can see the beavers are making great use of these. Even during the day they're using them. And then in the evenings, it's, it's awesome at the, in the evenings because the buildings light up and the fires are lit. Here we go, look at this picture. Look, the, the fires light up. They've got candles on the tables. Aww. And the beavers sit out and enjoy the view. Isn't that awesome? That's kind of cute. That is so cute. There's there's one more thing that I'd like to do to increase their well-being. Now, I think I think it's fair to say that pretty much everybody loves a, a shiny wet beaver, don't they? <laughs> I mean, I, I know I do. Um, so, but our our poor little beavers spend most of their time dry. That's not a good thing. It's not, look, it's the game, okay? It's not me. It's the game. They need to have wet fur. So, so we're going to get some wet fur going on. The way we're going to do that, uh, I'm going to throw in some triple platforms there and there. And the way, the reason I'm doing it like this is so that if I want to ever increase the pumping for some reason, <laughs> stop it. Um, then this is already kind of pre-set up for doing that. Um, let's do that. And then if I go over to well-being, over here, there are showers. Little beaver showers. Only cost 50 signs, so we'll unlock that. And then what we need to do is, let's see if I flip it around uh, that way. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> Look at this picture. How cool is this? We can have beaver showers so they can get up in the morning they can sit out have a coffee and then you know have a leisurely wander down grab a shower go and hang out by the fireplace they can do all this stuff all in one place 
I've got to say, that has worked out very, very nicely. Okay. So that, we, we are now done with uh, increasing the population and making them, hopefully, more efficient. Uh, we are up to, look at this, we're up to 40 beavers. Good Lord. Okay, what we're going to do now is work on the industry. Now, this is all built. So currently, we have 40 beavers right now, and we've got room for another 44. Well, that's too many. So, yeah, I mean... I mean, we will be getting up to that at some point. But for right now, it's too many. So I'm going to rip out all this old stuff. I've, I've been waiting to do this since the beginning of the episode. Go away. Throw your filthy stuff out in the street. Boom. All gone. Let's get rid of those as well. Hooray. And there was much rejoicing. Right. Now we start spending some of our science. What are we up to? We're up to 1,800. That's not too bad. Th things are going to get quite expensive now. Power. We are going to unlock the windmill. Oh, yeah costs 120 science and you're probably thinking well that's not much yeah, yeah there's, a, there's a lot more more expensive stuff that i'm going to unlock what i was looking to do was have uh, a row of windmills across here and again i am kind of a bit worried about the aesthetics so now you have to space these out so they have to have um, two spaces in between so i'm thinking if we have one two three and then one two three now, if I'm going to do that, I, I, this is what I thought. I, I want to have the path going around here. So I'm going to have to put in some platforms. Right, well, so we're going to have six windmills. Each of these windmills can produce up to, and this is the key thing, up to 200 horsepower. Uh, and the other thing is the wind doesn't always blow. So sometimes you don't get any power at all. And then your factories don't work and you've got people sitting around idle not doing anything that's not good this is this is the fundamentals of the of renewables renewable energy um the sun doesn't always shine the wind doesn't always blow so what do you need you need a way to store the power uh, that you can use when the renewables aren't working now we're going to spend some of our science because we're going to unlock uh where are we power this thing these came out with uh, update 2 and i think they're brilliant the gravity battery 400 science yes please we are going to have a couple of these babies if i flip this around i think most of you will uh, figure out what this is this is basically a bucket of well, <laughs> this is basically a bucket of rocks and w when you've got power they're winched up when you haven't got power they're allowed to fall and as they fall they spin in this case uh, just just turn the wheels to because it's all it's all cogs and and shafts <laughs> stop it <laughs> she sets me off it's not my fault it's all shafts and beavers um yeah so that, that's how it works um these things are they're actually i don't know i don't think everybody knows these are actually commercially in service as uh, as batteries uh, and what they do is they have a huge and i mean i don't know how they're like 10 tons or something of concrete and they suspend it in a mine shaft um because obviously you need a long distance and yeah they, and they they haul it up when when the sun's shining and the wind's blowing and then when the when the renewables are offline it's allowed to, to go down it drives a turbine and produces electricity again apparently pretty uh, pretty efficient i think it's like 80 90 percent uh, efficient which is um which is really good for batteries okay so that's enough about uh, the power is it um uh, no not quite because we've got to connect it all together let's do that let's do that so let's go to power so we'll put these to connect all of these together boom 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 now we need to connect them to these uh these gravity drives how are we going to do that because we can't put them across this path well most of you will know the answer uh, you use these things the high powered the high power shaft <laughs> <laughs> oh god am i like 12 years old or something apparently i am uh it <laughs> oh, man. uh it costs uh yeah 80 sides so what we do we flip it around and we put one of those there flip that around put one of those there we take 
one of these uh, platforms, put it there, and then we get one of those things that I wasn't using. Where is it? Power. Uh, a, a straight power shaft and pop that in there. And then I think I think it's safe to just use a, a straight power shaft there. Yeah. And then we'll do the same there as well. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, then we'll use uh, a four way there. Okay, cool. So we've now connected all of our windmills together and they're connected to the batteries. Well, isn't that awesome? Yes, it is. Okay, with the power supply sorted out, we can now start putting in the factories. And I think I'm gonna put the fact, I was thinking about the putting the factories down here, but I think I'm gonna put the, the first lot of factories in here and leave this as expansion. So what are we gonna put in? First of all, uh, we're producing planks. We're gonna need gears. So let's get uh, the gear workshop unlocked. That's 100 science. And we'll put in, which side am I going to put these on? I guess, ah, that's a good point. I'm going to need, oh, I'm going to need an extra space there. Ha, okay, that's a good point. Well, that's going to have to go and that this road is going to have to be moved over one. Okay, well, let's do that then. If I set this to be emptied, uh, this is going to take loads of logs to build. So they should empty this like relatively quickly, I would think. Uh, go. Um, I have real. I, I've just realised I've set this up wrong. Oh, good spot. That's wrong. Um, that doesn't connect to there. It connect. It should connect to here. So what I need to do. Oof, that would have been a bad mistake. Uh, what do I want? I want. Um, I want a couple of four ways. Uh, but then doesn't everyone? Um, hook that up like that. Yeah, that's fine. And then just get rid of that one and get rid of that one. I, I, I mean, minor, it would have been okay, but no point wasting. No point wasting wood. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, so we'll we'll let them start throwing that stuff in. I tell you what, while, while they're emptying that, there's, there's something I can do over here. Um, now... <laughs> Our, our beavers are, are going to be pretty wet with all the showers going on. But when they're over here in, you know, in the fields and they want to cool off and get a bit of damp fur, uh, we don't want them necessarily going all the way over here just to grab a shower. Uh, when over here, we've got a nice river. So what we can put in is, where is it? Uh, it's under well-being. Uh, it's the... It. which one is it it's the lido here we go the lido uh it's 250 science let's unlock that um if i flip this around you'll see it's just a little swimming area protected so they can just relax and not worry about anything so what i was thinking was to just kind of throw one in there uh you know what for now that's what i'm going to do i'm going to throw one of those in uh what do i want i want um just a path there and then what I could do later on, I'm going to think about this, but what I could do is I could potentially throw one in there. And if I just build a little platform there, I have another one there. But that might be overkill. So for now, we'll just leave like that, leave it like that, and we'll, and we'll, we'll see how that goes. Okay, how are we doing with this? Uh, we've emptied about half of it, which is good going. So, uh, you know what? I can put the road, I can put the road back in afterwards. Yeah, 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 no problem. Let's get rid of this road. Ah, uh, yeah, this is, this is, this is going to work. Okay. We've got our two uh, planks factories. We want two gear factories. Let's go to wood. Gear workshops. We'll have, um, yeah, we'll do it like that and that. Fine. And then we want a paper mill. The paper is what's used to create explosives. So, uh, the dynamite. It's, it's literally paper becomes dynamite, which is, <laughs> I don't know what the logic is behind that, but I mean, you need paper to wrap dynamite, but you'd have thought there'd be a little bit more to it than that. But no, apparently not. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> I've forgotten paper, yeah. <laughs> uh, we want the, the paper mill, 250 signs. If we flip this around and just put it there, that works, doesn't it? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Uh, we're going to have a, um, a power shaft going up here. 
and then on the other side we're going to build uh, have another couple of buildings in order to build the explosives factory uh we need metal blocks metal blocks are uh, metal scrap where's metal yeah here we go metal scrap uh, which you then smelt you melt it down into metal blocks uh, for that we need smelter metal and smelter that's 300 sides we've only got 500 left good lord um so that can go there that's fine and then finally the explosives factory so landscaping and uh, here we go the explosives factory uh, you see, three paper becomes one dynamite. Yeah, manufacturers explode. I don't, have you ever come across exploding paper? No. No. Well, you know, it's what it is, I guess. <laughs> First time for everything. Uh, this is going to cost four hundred. Like, my God, I only just had enough. Okay, so that's going to go in there. Okay. Well, this all seems to be working out. So. We run those up to there. That is all of that connected. Okay, that's good. Now, eventually, I'll run another shaft up here. We can have another factory in here. We can get rid of these these storages and have more factories down here. And then we can have another power line running up that and factories on either side. And probably another one. So we've got plenty of room for expansion. We've already got two windmills built that is impressive okay so this one's running it's see now this is supposed to put it up to 200 power out it's only putting out 112 power at the moment because because uh, the wind isn't blowing at maximum strength this is why we need so many of these at the moment this would this would put out oh see now it's putting out like 182 but it is intermittent this is why we need these batteries um if it's doing 200 power, then we're looking at, what, 1,200 power. These factories are probably somewhere around seven, 800, something like that. Uh, this is, these are 50 each. The gears are 120 each. This thing is 80. This thing's 200. This thing's 150. Yeah, so somewhere, I don't know, seven, 800, something like that. Wow. We are, we are probably going to need perhaps even a little bit more power but they should run i would think most of the time okay that's fine um I, I mean really it's just a case of letting this get built and it's gonna take a while so we'll come back okay they're just about to finish this section they've built the two gear factories two gear workshops i should say and if i prioritize that section there and we'll prioritize that one and that one if they can get those built these will start working i've actually run uh run a little line up here because i do want to power these the, th the thing is at the moment the power is going to be intermittent because we haven't got our batteries and the batteries are going to be one of the last things built unfortunately because it needs the metal blocks so we need we need the gears from the gear factories and we need the uh the smelter to produce the metal blocks uh and what how many do we need we need 10 for each and they don't produce them that quickly so okay it's all hooked up uh oh we just need this bit we just need this bit done okay uh where are we priorities sign priorities there we go come on guys come and build this they're like no it's the end of the day the union says no okay fine fine be like that then i tell you what let's go down uh let's um let's slow it down look at this picture look he's taking Aww. a shower <laughs> <laughs> isn't that awesome a lovely wet beaver <laughs> and there was much <laughs> rejoicing i i i I've gotta say this is this is my favorite bit now i i love this whole area with the fires and the candlelight and showers and everything. I, that, I, that's worked out really nicely really nicely uh let's speed this up again get on to the next day i want to see these gear factories start working the gears are needed so that we can build the paper mill and the smelter and the explosive factory and then we need the metal blocks from the smelter to get these uh these gravity batteries built 
Oh, but it is all going to happen. It's just a case of being patient. Uh, why are they building these? Come and build these. Oh, oh man, we need gears. Okay, well, what in that case, what we'll do? I didn't realise those needed gears. Well, simple fix. We get rid of that, and we put in temporarily. Where are we? It's a good job I spotted that. Uh, we put in that there. That being a straight power shaft. We prioritise that. Tomorrow, because it's already the next day. I just wasted a whole day. Oh, man. Uh, the next day, and, and the next day dawns, uh, they should come straight up here, build that, and then... Oh, no, it's still not going to work. Because we're not connected to that. So I'm going to have to put in a power shaft, a four-way power shaft there. Prioritize that. Good grief. I'm always terrible with... And there it goes. I'm always terrible with, like, hooking these things. There's always something that I miss. All right, there we go. We're producing gears. I think it's a bit mean that you need gears just to produce those. Because they're exactly the same as these, really, aren't they? It's, I mean, those are, they've all got gears. Okay, fine. Stop complaining, let's go. <laughs> um, let's have a look. Yes, we are, they, well, they, they have, they have been working. So, yeah, now, I guess, we, uh, we wait for them to produce enough gears to finish these. Uh, when the smelter gets going, and we get the, we get the metal blocks, then we can see the gravity batteries. Well, they've just built the first gravity battery, and you can see how long this has taken, because we've, we've only got two days left on the drought, and I've just left the let the last bit of water out of the reservoir. This has been uh, this has been a long old drought, but look at this, this thing, I, it really is awesome. The gravity battery. Now the wind's blowing at the moment, and we've got the smelter running. Let's have a look at the smelter. This is the smelter, and. As you can see, it's producing metal blocks. Excellent. We need another. We need another seven metal blocks for this, and then actually we could turn that off. Um, although I probably want to build up a little stock. Uh, we still need gears for this. Gears for the explosive. Thirty gears for that. Oh no, we need no. We need metal blocks for that as well. Good lord. Okay. So yeah, we still we still need to keep the smelter running. But the good news now is that when when the wind is is not blowing, we should get some power. Now this stores an amount of power, uh, and it, it can release all of it in black and white. So everything will run at a hundred percent until this is empty. But at the, of course, at the moment the wind is blowing deliberately so that I can't show it to you. <laughs> isn't that isn't that always the way? Oh right. The, and there it goes. The wind stops blowing. Let's, let's zoom in and have a look. And and it starts dropping and it's supplying power. And you can see the power running down pretty quickly. But not staggeringly quickly. I mean, alright, fairly quickly. But this is why this is why I want at least at least one more. But it's keep it's keeping everything running. And then at some point, hopefully, the wind will start blowing again. Is, is the wind ever going to blow again? I don't know. Maybe, maybe that's it. Maybe these are the end times. Oh, come on, blow, please. All right, whatever. <laughs> While we're waiting for the wind to come back, um, I have been doing a couple of things. I put in, um, put in a little dam down there to, uh, to catch some water in here. But apparently, that hasn't worked. Oh, I, I guess they must have finished it after the, uh, the... Yeah, 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 of course. They, they finished it after the after the drought started, so there wouldn't be any water in there. Good Lord, this drought has gone on a long time. Ah, in fact, perfect. The water is just going to start going. Now I'll come down here and then that'll fill up. Hooray, good, good news. Everything else is fine. We've got loads and loads of water. Once we get explosives... Uh, we're going to, for example, we can we can take this down another level and double the water that's in here, which will be huge. That'll help a lot. 
Um, we can do the same down here. We can we can we could dynamite this whole area, take it down another level, and that would create a massive amount more water. As if we need more water, which I honestly don't think we do, at least at the moment. How are we doing over here? Well, look at this. Our, the wind has started blowing again, and our battery has gone straight back up to the top. Well, that's fabulous. This is, I've got to say, this is working better than I expected. I think we could even consider taking these two guys out and hooking this up. Should we do that? Get rid of this guy. There you go. No more running on, on power wheels. They'll be, they'll be very happy about that. We can throw that in there, I think. Is there any advantage? No, we'll put it there just in, like, just in case. Um, I, I can't think of what case I'm thinking of, but <laughs> it's what it is. Uh, let's prioritize these so they get built first thing in the morning. Okay, so, oh, the second gravity battery has got built. Wow. Oh, that is awesome. I'm so happy about that. So all we're waiting on now is the explosives factory we have got look at this we've got 1700 science again so that means i can actually go into landscaping and i can unlock dynamite Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. awesome so all we've got to do now is actually make some well they've just started work and we only need two metal blocks and that's going to be the explosives factory. Let's see. How, how are we doing? We're running. We're off and running. So it takes two scrap metal and turns it into one metal block. Okay, that's another one made. That's 29. We just need one more. And that's it. That's the one. <laughs> and that's it. It's built. And... Are they going to start manufacturing? Well, okay, well, they need to bring in... Yes, we are manufacturing dynamite. Yes! Oh, I cannot tell you how happy I am. Oh, that, that, dynamite opens up so many opportunities. Oh, things are going to get wild now. Well, I guess... I guess we should blow st some stuff up, shouldn't we? Well, if you want to see that, you're going to have to come back to the next, for the next episode. What an episode this was. Packed with explosives and wet beavers. What more could you possibly ask for? Guys, I'll catch you for the next one. Peace out.